and then Jennifer and actually got a chance to eat a little bit at their house. And I, I look back on that time and I say, uh, you know, I thought they were regular people then that did extraordinary things. And then a couple years ago, I took my team down here uh, for a team building thing. And uh, we got a little tour, an opportunity to Detroit. And it seemed, uh, when I first heard about it, and, uh, I, I thought, this is too big. It just can't happen. This is impossible. I lived in this state my whole life. And, and then when we came back with the team, I kind of realized this, this thing's coming to fruition. I watched what he's done with Cleveland. I watched what he's done with Detroit. It's not the building that you're going to help us build, but as Joel said, the people in it and uh, what it stands for um, gives me a reason to gloat a little bit. I, I'm honored to go out recruiting and um, you're in my recruiting speech, I want you to know, and uh, it's one of our greatest alarms, and, and because you're an owner, um, that was my recruiting, so. <laughs> I don't ask you, you know, to, to buy any players, because that's illegal, but uh, just your image has been uh, important to me, and I, and I mean that wholeheartedly, but what I've liked most, and what I've respected most about their entire family, you know, Nick gets to stop by practice, he's an awesome kid, and always pushing me, never satisfied, you know, and can, I swear he can win every game, and he'll find a reason, I gotta win another one. And, and you know, that's just kind of the way Dan was when I met him. I watched, and I use this line a lot, you know, I've gotten a chance to live my dream, but I really haven't yet. And he makes me realize I haven't, because when you, when you double one big dream, there should be another big deep dream to try to accomplish. And, uh, and that's what you're taught. You have been a role model, as they said, for a lot of Spartans, but a lot of people. And uh, I just want to thank both of you for helping another one of my dreams, you know, the future of Michigan State University and then small part Michigan State Athletics, but Michigan State University and what you're doing for it, what you're doing for people that aren't as privileged aren't as lucky, but they too will get a chance to live their dreams. So my thing to you and Jennifer is thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me live mine, helping me give a chance to other players to live theirs, but now you've expanded it to other students. And we are gonna have, uh, I think, the nicest facility in the country. And my job, make sure I put enough good players in there to help me and us now, to help maybe even you later. And find another LeBron, you know, so I'm going to try to do both. And thank you so very much for what you've done. I greatly, greatly appreciate it.